well, what's happening everyone? Welcome to another one. Um, as you can see, it's raining. It's uh, filthy, dirty, muddy. It's up past four in the afternoon and it is, it's an awful day. It's foggy, it's wet. It's been like it all day. Um, I've come down to dig a few maddies. I'm um, only down at Montney Hill, everybody knows it locally to me. It's just literally down the road from my house. So I'm still in, uh, I'm still in the old travel guidelines because um, we're having a little fish tonight. Um, yeah, tide hasn't long left really. Uh, I tired was I don't know a couple of hours ago, so it hasn't long hasn't long left. But oh, I'm struggling. This has been so badly dug out all through here. You can see all this has all been dug. The dirt is filthy black. Um, yeah, it's really, really, really crap. There's a few maddies in my bucket. Oh, it's a big bucket, and there's no need for it. But I wasn't planning, planning on filling it. All I wanted was a couple of hundred for tonight. So we're going to go over grain again and uh, see if we can find a few flounders, maybe a bass. Um, anything, again, anything other than whiting, dogfish and COVID, to be fair. The three things I don't want to catch at the minute. I'm going to have to have a little venture. Steve's down here somewhere having a dig. He's doing his daily exercise as well. Um, but he's, he's a bit further around the beach. I'm going to go and have a walk along, see if I can find Steve. See if I can find a few more maddies because here is just where well, it's all completely dug out. Look, it's all been dug, completely dug over. Um, yeah. I would, to be honest, today I wanted to bring the old tripod and set up and show you a bit of digging, but it's just too wet out here. It's awful, if I'm honest. It, it, it's, it's that bad. I don't even want you here watching because it's that horrible. I'll, um, I'll bring you back when we, uh, well, if I come across something else a bit interesting, maybe. In a bit. Right, well, I'm home now. I'm just sorting out my maddies before I go. I'll be going back out the door in a little while. So here we are. Ended up with a few hundred in the end. See there, don't look, look, it's only a handful, but it's probably 200 there. Lovely little dudes. That's all we do with these, as you've seen before. Little bunch like that. Just sort of head hook them, just below the head. And, uh, yeah, they're ideal. What I'm doing is now just sitting here picking them out of this little bit of mud. But, if you roll them out, well, I normally tend to find... And I've got them on a puppy pad because it sucks all the juice out of them, which is what you want, really. The problem with these is they're very small, they're very fiddly, and when they're wet, they're even worse. So what I tend to dry mine out. A lot of people leave them in water, leave them in the mud. I like mine nice and clean, and then that way you don't get you don't make an absolute you don't get covered in crap when you're fishing because there's nothing worse than being filthy dirty having muddy hands when you're fishing so all i do is i'll pick them last few this there's probably still look when you open up the mud there's probably still 100 there just pick them out like that um but this will last me this will be a couple of sessions this will which is nice because now i can have a session tonight for my daily exercise all right it'll be my probably my second daily exercise and although there's no night fishing, we're not actually going to night tonight. It's not all night. It's just a couple of hours in the evening. Um, yeah, it's one of them. One of them. Right. Well, it's soon be time to go and dig some lugworms. So I will um, I'll probably see you back out in the mud. So I'll either see you back out in the mud or see you when I'm eating my chips. Because I think it's going to be chip shop for dinner on the way. So, yes. In a bit. What is happening, people? It is still raining. Still raining. And I'm out. Still daily exercising, um, meeting up with my one other person, Dan, the munchkin. Oh, hold up, someone else got on me. Some, there's another fella here going digging. Oh, hold up, that's Steve. Steve, fancy seeing you here. How mad is that? Well, it is low tide, I suppose. People, you know, these bait diggers, they go digging at low water. It just so happens that I turned up at the same time Steve turned up. Listen, don't you listen, Dan? Don't you worry. You know Nafal about Nafal. Oh, I'm gonna go before we go. Before I go digging, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and do some coastal foraging. I'm seeing. Looks like a dead dogfish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, boys. I'm going this way because I don't need to go down there. There's nothing down there. There's nothing down there that interests me. Dan's, Dan's chatting behind me because he thinks he knows something about something when basically 
Dan knows nothing about nothing. Um, Dan says, oh, you know where are you going? But you had to meet me through the tunnel because you didn't know how to get here. No, I knew how to get here. <laughs> it's all changed now. Me, me just likes looking at the back of my car. In other words, he likes looking at my ass. And that's true, Dan. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do now, obviously you've seen us dig the maddies. We saw me dig maddies. Dan tried, but he fouled. Um, and now we're going to go and now we're going to go and dig the uh, now we're going to go and dig some lugworm, and then we're going to go fishing when the tide comes back in. So yeah, it's all good fun, right? Um, in a bit, Steve. Anything, anything to say? Yeah, I'll bring you back. Yeah, no, you won't. Oh, we'll bring them back in a bit. Ciao. Well, what's happening, guys? Obviously, now we're out in the mud. My nose is running. I've got boogers everywhere. Right, so we're digging for common lug. Um, something I think I've showed you before, but. I don't know if I've showed you before where we dig a big old shoe in that. But we're doing it a bit different out here in Grand because there's there's less cast but the worms are a bit bigger. So where you can see is the cast, the squiggly bit, and then here, quite close to this cast, you can see that hole. Now if you dig your finger in there, it, it you can feel a hole. So what is happening? You've got the cast there and you've got the old air. Underground, there'll be a U-shape like that. And the lug worm will be sitting somewhere down here normally. Imagine that twisted that way underground. Um, so what I do when I'm digging lug, this mud out here is very thick and it's very hard to dig. So I normally put my fork where the hole is there, just literally half a fork full. Because all, you, all I'm doing there is breaking the suction of the ground. Um, and then what I'll do, little slivers, and I'll dig just in front of the hole, just in front of the blowhole, back towards the cast. So then I'll do that and hopefully we'll find a worm. Now obviously guys, this doesn't happen every single time and it just so happens I'm filming this one so I want to hope. Um, I am going to hope it's there. So now I'm going in towards the cast. Hopefully it'll be there somewhere. Hopefully. I hope you're crossing your fingers. It might be just that little bit deeper because obviously it's January, it's freezing cold. There it is. I do seem to go deeper but there it is. There is. Same, I've, I've split him. Um, and again, he's not the biggest, but as we're using him in about 20 minutes, well, an hour's time, he will be ideal. And then all we do from then on is, just quickly, chuck the gear back in the hole. It ain't gonna be perfect, just most of it. The tide will do the rest. Move on to the next one. Um, we do that another 500 times, and we should be cushy. Right, finally set up. What's up, mate? Two. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Right, finally set up. Two up, Luke Rick. Sorry, Dan was talking to me. Um, these are the baits. Bottom hook, lugworm, Maddie's top hook, straight lugworm. These are the ones we just been out and dug. Um, we weren't out there long because the other two melted, but some nice proper commons. Nice big chunky commons. There's some blown ones in there and some half ones in there, but. Overall, they're just nice. I mean, they're still not as big as what they were when we was a kid out here, but they're a lot better than most places nowadays. So yeah, that is going to be that. The little rod, a little piece of back rod's already out there with just uh, a one at the flowing trace. Right, we'll bring you back when one of us gets a fish in a bit. The ginger ninja strikes first. Proper, nice little lip look. Little flounder, lovely little fish. What's that, first, second chop? Yeah, yeah, second chop. Lovely. Been giving good bites and all, isn't it? Yeah. That little fish has been doubling over with Kieran Six and Bait. <laughs> I said doubling over. It's hardly a tuna, but you know. Wow, it's, while we're recording, let's go and see Steve. We're all out in the cold and the wind and the wet and the rain and it's jank and horrible. Stevie boy, look, he's got a little setup. It's lovely in here. How's it going, Steve? How many fish you had? I put the wrong bloody hooks on. What do you mean you put the wrong hooks on? Well, I put a beak point on, didn't I? What's a beak point? Well, when, when the... the uh, oh, what, you mean like a, a circle hook? Yeah, sort of. So, yeah. So now I can't use my bait in there. What a tit. Yeah. Well, oh, I quite like it in here. I'm, uh, it's all right, isn't it? I'm going to take rank here and nick your umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> It's lovely. You're, sorry, mate, you're going to have to stay out there now because of social distancing. There's not room in here for two. And as I'm in here now, unlucky. 
No, guys, it's, um, the weather is pretty, pretty pants. It is, at, well, it's not, I wouldn't say it's pissing hard, but it's just fine rain and it's literally blowing on shore, like perfectly in your face, unless you're Steve, because he's got a brolly. Um, but yeah, no, it's all right. It's, it's, um, it's a good night. We're having a socially distanced laugh. You know how it is, taking the piss out of each other from a distance. Um, so, and, and now the fish are here. But with this bit of onshore breeze, I'd, li I'd like to think there'd be a bass or two come out tonight. Um, because it, it is known here for, for an onshore breeze, it is known for a bass. I'd like to see something maybe possibly nearly sizable, rather than the little ones that me and Steve was catching here the other day. Um, I, I want to target a tight tonight, I have a 35 centimetre plus bass. Do you hear that, Steve? Yeah. I'm, gi I'm giving that target to Steve. I'd like a 30, I'd like a 30 centimetre plus flounder. Oh, a 30 centimetre flounder, that would be, that would be an unbelievable fish. There was a faulty last week. Yeah. Yeah. Right, guys, I will bring you back when we get another fish. First one to Kieran. In a bit. Kieran's out here like an absolute boss. Oh, quick, don't let him fall in. You got him, you all right? Kieran said that we're all sitting here talking about fishing and other fishing channels. Um, and turn around, Kieran's rod's going absolutely off. And there he goes, look. Smaller one on the bottom and then an half better one on the top. Still not sizable, but they're lovely bass. Look at that, look. Perfect little fish. He's alright, he's pretty. Perfect little fish. Yeah. Oh, so Kieran's doing it all a bit different to us. We're, we're using, we're using uh, commons and blacks and... Tiny, tiny it looks like. Tiny it looks, but he's tipping with a bit of bluey, which is a bit, strange. a bit. Uh, boy, it's not strange. I suppose it is. It's just something we don't never do. Double shot a bass, okay. like a boss. Oh. Well, he's gonna get them back. I'm gonna go and catch my own bass. I want a bass. So far, I'm just catching weed. Sorry for the wind, guys. I'll um, right. I'll bring you back when I catch a fish. Probably next week. Whoop whoop. Stevie boy's got one. Another little one. Oh, oh, I forgot Steve don't like, don't like playing with bass, does he? Do you want to hold it, mate? No, I got him. There we go. Tiny little nice little hook. Beautiful. Lovely little fella. Go on, mate, you're getting back. The rain's coming down harder now. The wind is picked up. It's pretty, pretty jank, if I'm honest. Um, but we're still here fishing the way. We've been out. I've done too much hard work. They dig in and dig in twice and getting up here and so yeah we're we're giving it we're giving it giving it a bash it a we are giving it a go right i'm um, guys i'm gonna leave you to it and uh we'll bring you back when we find something worth talking about hopefully we'll get some more fish hopefully fish hunter will catch a fish hopefully. stranger things happen steve eh? Hey? yeah all right guys in a bit all right very quickly fish hunter finally got a bass it is the tidiest little bass in the world but it ain't a blank, so it is a win. It's really, really pissing hard. It's really, really windy, and I'm really, really cold. In a bit. Hey, Steve's got a better one. I don't, still don't think it's as big as Kieran's first one earlier when he had a double shot, but again, it's a nice bass. Steve, do you know what? You hold my phone. Do you be the cameraman? No. I'll unlock it. Are you I'll sure? Work. Can you man up? Do you reckon you could man up a little bit? It's just, what's he doing? I don't know. He's got gloves on and all, and he still can't pick it up. Little flappy bits. What's the flappy bits? <laughs> <laughs> little flappy bits to go over his fingers. Yeah, my mittens. Really Hang on. Mittens Come here. Honestly, Steve. Yeah, so so them for you, then. Right. You got it. <laughs> I've got the fish. Pull the hook out. No, 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 no. Ellie thinks you had your hat on your hat. So come over and cover your ears. Yeah. yeah. Give me that. <laughs> oh, Two of us no, come no, to no, an old phone. A bash it. What's going on? There we go. Steve's melting out. Well, how long is it? That's what we're, how long is it? we're trying it's to get a 30 centimetre bass. That was the target we said at the start of the video. Well, when we got here. Do you know, do you know what? I'm we'll squeeze that towel together because if you squeeze the towel, you get half a centimetre. We'll take that. Target achieved. Upside down bass. But there yes. We well done, Steve. Well done. Right, do you reckon you'll be able to pick it up and put it back in the water by yourself? Or do you, or do you need yeah. help from Dan? I'm going to do it with the towel. <laughs> <laughs> right. I like bass, but I don't like bass. In a bit. Desperate times and all that. Even showing you the tiddlers. Kieran's had a couple more little baby ones like this that I haven't bothered, but they are all small. But they're good fun on this light gear. And it's simple, look. Just a little bit of fluoro, oh, you can't even see it. A little bit of fluorocarbon. 
tight to a uh, little red slider, an arrow link and a bead, straight on the main line. Easy peasy, but effective. Conditions here really are quite bad at the minute. It is absolutely pissing hard now. We're all soaking wet. I think Dan's packing up going home because it, it is bitterly cold now and it's pissing hard. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be much further behind him. I think there's about half hour till I water, so I'm probably going to sit it out for another half hour and then I'll be done. But um, hopefully we'll see a few more fish in a bit.